Okay, welcome to Takoyaki Party. Ooh, I hope you like octopus balls. Yeah. I'm your host, Osaka Joe. Joining me is DJ Soy Milk. It's DJ Soy Milk. Like she octopus. never shuts up. <gasps> I like octopus balls. Yeah, you like balls. Ew. Um, that's the biggest lie I ever heard. <laughs> Ew. Okay, um, we're at NFV48 Podcast. This is episode number 22. Um, what else do I have to say? Oh, we're at NFV48 Podcast. We give weekly news and stuff. So. 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 So, um. God. What was I doing? No, I was playing League of Legends, so I don't remember what was going on. Okay, so news. First first major news, piece of news. Wow, we're just going right into it. Okay, first... We are. What, what, what else are we going to talk about? Um, oh, major news and announcements. Okay. How was your day? How was your day? My day was really busy and tiring. How was your day? Okay, well, my day... Um, Saki P announced her graduation <laughs> last week. Um, it, was, it came... Uh, I don't know how surprising it was. Obviously, she's not very popular, um, and... She did not enter the election, so now there are all these red flags up. For those who don't so know, she... Saki P is Kono Saki. She's putting that out there. Yeah, Team N member, uh, former B2 member. Yeah, third original, gen. Third gen, smart girl, Hiroshima. Um, I think like she was like out of all the members in all the AKB groups, like her entrance score to the university was like second place or something like that. That was first place. place. Was it first? I thought it well, was pretty high. Yeah, probably. Whatever. She's a smart girl. Um, when she announced her graduation, she said uh, she did. She said that she said that um, she wants to do radio work. Oh. I don't know why. That's interesting. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of uh, what is it? Behind the times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah kind of in a way. I was gonna say Okada Jidai, but nobody knows what that is. No. Um. So yeah, she's moving on. And I don't think people are as sad as they are. At least the members said, oh, it's a happy graduation. She's going to pursue what she wants to do. So good for her. That is good. Well, I didn't watch it yet. I'm very behind. What am I? I was going to watch it. And then I got distracted by things. By more important things? <laughs> Poor Saki P. Never the most important. Well, I've, I was watching it. Apparently, I paused when Aiko was doing Yuma no Dead Body. So, <laughs> good, good place to pause. Yeah. Next ma piece of major news: Emichi announces that she's taking leave. Yeah, but it's like it's not a graduation. It's like a hiatus. Yeah, I called it academic leave, a leave of absence, whatever you want to call it. She is focusing on school. She wants to graduate, but she'll be back. So, but isn't graduation, like, in the spring? Like, as in, she'd be gra finishing up in, like, the late winter? I don't know, maybe that's when she'll come back. Maybe. That's a long, that's a long hiatus. Maybe she's on, like, a different schedule, though, because of her previous work. Yeah, I have no idea, but she wants, um, I think she talked about how hard it was to do both school and idol stuff at the same time. Oh. And I forgot, maybe, I think she said her dream was to become, like, a, a global, or a world, an actress worldwide or something yeah. like that. So she just got to do, I mean, they both help her career. And I think, well, maybe she's been, like, doing really bad at school, I don't know. But whatever <laughs> the reason is, she is taking leave, so she will not be showing up to any of the Don't Look Back handshakes no. they announced. Um, if you apply for her and... Obviously, if you're a foreigner and you're listening to this, you probably put paid with credit card. Yeah. So they're so they're giving you your refund if you got a ticket with her. I told you to get a ticket with her, right? Yeah, but and I'm glad I didn't because I don't have to go through the whole refund process. Well, there is no process; they just refund you. Oh, really? It's not like AKB where it's like cash on delivery. Cause, no. Oh, because well, see, I was gonna get the ticket for the AKB event anyway, so in the end, it worked out. So I wouldn't have gotten my refund if it was the AKB event. No. Those AKB staff always scamming yeah. us for money. Yeah, screw those guys. Yeah. We're um, here for NMB only. Yeah. The second lie I've heard today. Yeah. The first one being you don't like balls. Stop. <laughs> We're on public radio. Okay. It's like the Steve Harvey joke. You know, huh? you know the guy at Family Feud, the Family Feud host. Steve yes, Harvey? I know that guy. Apparently... He had a show on the WB probably before you were born. Oh, no, you were probably like four. Oh, well. Anyway, 
apparently there's like this whole thing online about how Steve Harvey's always like, whenever people on Family Feud give like a lewd answer, he's like, you can't say that on television, but the actual answer is a lewd thing. And so they were like on the right track. And I was like, that's what it is. Yeah, dude, Steve Harvey is the, the greatest example of Sukumi. He's good. Oh, man. I heard he's a this jerk in real life, though. Well, he has uh, questionable views, depending on who you are. So, anyway, um, Steve Harvey is not an idol, so we'll move on. Uh, <laughs> because because Saki P announced her graduation, because Emichi is taking academic leave, there's a lot of eyes on the people who didn't announce their graduation. For sure, jeez. So yesterday, Team N had a stage, and everyone's really nervous. I think for the, the intros, they didn't even... Because usually when there's like a birthday or something important happens, yeah, uh, they don't do their little talk after their introduction, like, oh, today I'm whatever, Genki Mori Mori, blah, 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 whatever, yeah. And then they tell jokes and stuff. But like yesterday, I heard they didn't do that, so people were like, oh my god, something's gonna happen. Oh, so people were expecting Mortal Kombat to graduate, because she didn't um, announce her election candidacy. Yeah. And nothing happened. Oh. So. That's good. It's hilarious that nothing happening is big news. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's tense though, because everybody's just really sure she's going to graduate. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. I like her though. She's good. Um, another red flag that went up. Terumi also didn't apply for the election. Yeah. And there's these little stickers that went on sale on the shop, and the only sticker that they're not selling. Is hers like there's a like a specific comment right? It's like 63 types available, and so people are like, oh well, here's a 64. So right below it, it says, Teruhi Honoka does not have a, or Teruhi Honoka does not have a sticker. What? It's like, huh. Those stickers went on sale today, or yesterday, I guess, in Japan time. So people are real suspicious now. That is suspicious. Jeez, I don't know both what, of them. I don't know when the next B2 stage is. I don't know either. Everyone's. Probably waiting with bated breath. Well, people are kind of nervous about Yui Pond too, right? But I don't know. She's so, she, for some reason she she feels more stable. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with her. No, like, no, not no election, but she still sold a lot of slots. Yeah. Well, she's really popular. For... Not like really popular, but based on what I've seen on the yeah. my side of the internet and based on the handshake numbers that I look at, because I always look at those, she does pretty well. Yeah. Well, anecdotally. If, Friends have said she's Kami Tayo, so I don't know. Well, I have two handshake tickets with her, so I'll let you know. Yeah, but she will speak Japanese, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, but, but... And anything to use Kami Tayo. Yeah, that's true. Also, you're you're a white girl. Yeah. So you get all, everything you need to get. Yeah. You get all, you get all the exceptions and, and much more. It's true. Anchu called me cute. I was like, oh no, here are the cute one, Anchu. She's like, I like your hair color. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. So I was really excited. Okay. I've said that before, but it's, it's still really exciting when I think about it. Okay. Anyway, moving on. I I You'll, you can present this piece of news. Oh, okay. So, the, um, well, let's start at the beginning, right? So when Sayaka's photo book came out, I was like, oh, that's really cool, that's really cool. And then Joe's like, I'll buy you one. I was like, oh! And so then he bought me one, and then I got really excited, and it was a really good photo book. But that's, it's not about me. It's about the photo book this time. So the photo book was the, is the third highest selling photo book in all of the 48 groups, which is really exciting because it's a sister group member. And, um, the, the top two sellers are Achan and Mayu, but like Mayu's first photo book, so way back. And, um, I don't know, it's just really exciting. Like she's ahead of Yuko, she's ahead of Yukiri, she's ahead of Paruru, Yui, all of them. And her, her sales keep going. I don't know if she surpassed Nishi no Nanase yet, because Nanase is doing really well, but that's Nugi's uh, I have no idea. I just got it from some random Matobi article, which is where all my news comes from. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really also, exciting. also, I bought you the photo book because we were supposed to cast, and I fell asleep. And I'm like, you know, I can't waste people's time like that. <clears throat> but you wasted my time today, so you owe me a Saika photo book. Oh, um, we can do trade backs. No. Oh. I already have my Saika photo book. Cool. Who needs two except boy who buys two? You can give me. Bunnies. You can get me the Yama, Yama, Yam, Yama Da, oh, Yamada Nana. You can give me the Nana memorial photo book. <laughs> I saw some I pictures don't... for it, or a picture for it. I saw the pictures and I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to get it. And then, like, I think I woke up yesterday and I'm like, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't really do anything with photo books. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, this is pretty. But it's very exciting to look at. I can see my sinus photo book is such a high seller. Yeah. So, check it out if you haven't checked it out. Yeah. Uh, I feel like there's these these kinds of books, like, especially with photo... Not just like... I'm not talking about idle photo books, but like... Like real photographies. <laughs> real photographers' photo books. Like, it's something you would just leave on the coffee table, and then, like, you know, people come over and they flip through it, or, like, maybe you're just relaxing on the, co- the couch, you're just like, oh, I'm gonna stare at a good image. And, you know, you'd flip through the photo book. Yeah, hey, that... And I, oh. I feel like, like, Sayaka's photo... Or, like, idle photo books are meant to be that way, but they're not. <laughs> yeah, there's too many bikinis for it to be that way. You can't leave yeah. it out for people. Yeah, you don't... I, I mean, you can, but it's just like, okay, that's kind of weird. Yeah. You know, like... You can leave out your Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition on 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 the table. That's kind of cool. Sort of. But uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I don't. I don't know. It's kind of like, what do you do with a photo book? And obviously, I know the answer for some people, but and other people for other people, it's like, like I have it, but I'm just like, it's very exciting to look at the first few times, and I'm like, what do I do with it? Yeah. I mean, for for me, for finance senpai, he wants his money to last. I think I think the Saiga photo book is good though. Like, um, I, maybe like maybe in a couple of years I'll look at that book. I'll be like, oh, that was a that was a good book. A good book. <laughs> it was it's photographically ph- photographically or artistically good. Yeah, there's the, there's this one picture in it where she's like, like her bottom half is covered, and I'm like, why is it covered? They're just like, cause it's like empty page. Like they're just wasting paper. And Joe's like, no, because it's artistic, and like you're supposed to think about what's under. I'm like, oh, that's so clever. They're so clever, so classy. Okay. Not that clever. Anyway, I was just saying that because uh, I was gonna get Nana's photo book, and now I'm not really sure about it. So yeah. Yeah. Um, moving on. Um, I think the stage two days ago for Team M was Sayapi's birthday stage. It was, and it was also. Azusa's second stage, not her debut stage, because that was with Nana's graduation. Right, and the other thing that happened at the stage is that they did some filming of the documentary. Yeah. Um, so I think when there there was like a something posted at the theater where they said, uh, you're going to be filmed. I don't know if they have release forms or not. I have no idea how privacy law works over there. Yeah. People that were going there are aware that they're going to be filmed, so that will be in the documentary, I suppose. I don't. I can't. I thought it would be done already. I don't even know what's coming out. <laughs> Very I did say it would come out this year. Yeah, it doesn't come out in, like, shoot, a few months, right? Coming out pretty idea. soon. Yeah. Definitely this year. Anyway, that's exciting. Um, I saw some clips of Azusa. She was super cute. I like her voice. I didn't realize when, when they said one of the requirements is to have a weird voice, they were actually going to pick a girl with a weird voice. Because it's kind of scratchy. No, they, no, they, no, they just... They, they, there's no requirements. Well, it's just, like, it's a, just like a joke kind of requirement. It was pretty much like a, I mean, for, for all intents and purposes, an audition for one member. Mm-hmm. And, like, Nana was on the panel. Right. But that's it. Like, there's nothing special about it. It's not like she's going to be Nana number two or whatever. Which, I, I feel like I have to explain this every single goddamn time. <laughs> it's like, what is the what is the post-Nana thing? Does that mean she's going to be a Nana again? Jeez. No. Okay. Okay. And since we're talking about Azusa, Azusa also opened up a Google Plus. Yay! I followed so, her. She's cute. Yeah, so you can add her if you want. Super cute. Yeah, she has funny eyes. Yeah, she does. They're kind of like squinty. I mean, that. Uh... Oh my goodness! God, that's the wrong oh word. Oh my to god! Use. <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> See, I can't make these jokes because I'm white. But I mean, if you—you you could say she has small eyes that kind of that, pop out sometimes. But that's like, I don't know. That, that's also you'd also be like, wow, talk about racist. No, why would I say that? Because she has small eyes. But they are like squinty when you compare it to everybody else's eyes. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, fine. Like they're very thin. All right, dude. I think all the Asians listening to no, your podcast no. are now offended. Boo. I want to see a picture of her next to, like, Shibata Aya from SKE, whose eyes are, like, golf balls. That'd be good times. I don't think her eyes are that big. Well, Like, naturally. Like, it's, it's, she can make them big. Yeah, it's makeup, but... Cause I, no, not makeup. I, she, like, she can do stuff to make her eyes big, but I don't think they're, na- like... Like, when she's just around talking, I think they're they're fine looking. Well, no, it's, like, when you wear makeup, it makes your eyes look bigger. Yeah, I know that, but I'm just saying that, like, 
when she taught, like, the only time I really saw her was, like, on Adiyoshi and, um, what is it, the last episode of, uh, the, the two AK Bingo episodes, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, you're right. Like, I know that she has big eyes, but her eyes are pretty, pretty normal yeah. when she talks. She can just do that thing where it looks like her eyes are huge. Yeah, with, like, the Google Plus pictures, and she's, like, staring into the camera. Yeah. How can you see into my eyes? Like, I don't know doors. what that has to do with Azusa. Well, we're talking about eyes, right? I want to see Azusa do a photo like that. It'll be like, bam! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Azusa Have her take a picture with, uh, with Aika. Oh, yeah! She, she also stares into your soul. Oh, man, she's so cute when she does it, though. Like, I don't mind. Like, you're cute. Well, apparently she doesn't mind either. Oh, we got more helicopters in my area. What the? Wee, 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 wee. Okay. That's it for major news. That's it for major news. Uh, fluff, fluff news. Fluff news, fluff news. Um, Noth- nothing really, or fluff news is, uh, news that's not really important, but hilarious. Hilarious. Let's see. Um, apparently Milky wants to get a driver's license. <laughs> I, yes. I find that funny, because it's that Milky. sounds like a disaster. Then, I think a long time ago, Sayaka also said she wanted a driver's license, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, Nana said she wanted her trucker's license. Well, I don't think any of that is happening. I thought she already so. had a trucker's license. No, she doesn't. Oh, well, she got to drive a truck, so that was pretty cool. Yes. It's... She went to, for way back when, when NMB first started. I don't even think they had T-Man yet. It might have been just first gen. They had Nana go to a trucking school. That was fun. And, and do the course. I do remember that. Good times. I'm impressed that they let her actually drive it without the license, but... No, what, what else are you supposed to learn? That's true. It's a, it's a trucker, it's a, it's a driver's school. <laughs> Truckers. Anyway, um, speaking of that, um, I think just a little while ago before broadcasting, we saw Irie post some pictures of her at her driving school, which used to be, um, the spokesperson used to be Hironian. Now it's, uh, Tanigawa Aeri. Cool. Tanigawa Aeri, right? Mm-hmm. Tanigawa. Who's the other Aeri that I keep getting confused with? In oh, Furukawa Aeri? From SKE, she graduated though. Okay. I think that's the only other Irie active in the 48 group. Okay. Well, anyway, anyway, so she she posted some photos of her like driving at the school and training to get her license. Yeah. So somewhat tangentially related to milks. Cool, cool, go milks, go milks. I was um, I was reading Twitter today, and I guess Milky and Shu did some sort of radio show. I guess I don't know what it was. Was it Teppan Radio? No, it wasn't Teppan Radio. Oh no, Teppan Radio was uh, Rudika, I think. Yeah, but they were on something. Like it was a Milky and Shu, and they were talking about how they don't really know who Togasaki is. Oh yeah. Like, yeah everybody yeah. knows who he is for like the AKB fans, but they're just like, nah, I don't know. He does stuff with AKB. They don't really tell us. We don't really care. Yeah. Stupid AKB. No, but they they were totally real about it. They're like, yeah, if management changes, like whatever, it doesn't really affect yeah, I wonder, us. I wonder what the source for, on that was. So there was no source listed. Yeah. I don't know, because people were just talking about how, like, Milky did something on the radio, or sh- said something. Maybe it was, like, last week's episode, or this week's episode, or the episode two weeks ago, I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> okay, um, we talked about Saipi having her birthday, um, uh, I didn't watch it yet. She got a um, haircut, guys! Yeah, dude, she's oh, got the fringes. She's so cute with the fringe! Oh my gosh. So I always thought Saipi was, like, really intimidating looking, because she has, like, can't say it because I already said it before, so I'm not gonna say squinty eyes. She's very like. I thought she had resting bitch face. That's kind of what she has. She has like. But it's but then she's like super nice and hilarious. I know. It's so the gap is so real. She, she look. She just looks like an intimidating kind of person, but she's just like a nice person. And now with the bang, she just looks super cute. I'm really excited about her. I wish I had handshake ticks, but I don't. Also, she makes the best faces. She does. Yeah, I'm really like, starting to like her. Unintentionally. Sorry. You know, one thing I noticed, like, among the fan community, I guess, there's a lot of Team M Oshis. Yeah, Team M's good. I like I like Team M. But there's, like, no Oshis. There's, like, there's no Oshis for other teams. Like, there'll, there'll be, like, oh, my favorite member is Milky, or my favorite member is, I don't know, Psycho or whatever. But aren't you a team? But there's nobody that says, like, I really like Team N, or I really like Team B2. Or there's not a lot. What do you mean? We just said that to each other. We're both like, oh, I really like B2. Oh, I really like N. I really like M. We, we were saying that. I think B2. No, no, but I mean, like, I guess when I look at, like, Twitter, it seems there are a lot of people that just like Team M. Or not just like Team M, but, like, clearly they favor Team M um, as a team over, like, all the other teams. I see, I see. Like, for me, like, when I say, like, I'm an Oshi of somebody, it's actually not really that strong. So, like, yeah, I like, te- like, for me, I'm a Team N Oshi, but, like, whatever, you're Joe, you know, it <laughs> doesn't, doesn't really matter. 
You're you're like I'm more of a DD than true Oshi or whatever. So yeah, so when I I think there's only I probably I, maybe it was uh, what is his name Sudi Saturday that probably likes I think he's probably the only like pure B two Oshi I think. Yeah. But yeah, you don't see like a lot of Oshis for the other teams. You always see like Team M. I think Team M like inspires like this loyalty. Well, I think part of it is the fact that Team M wasn't really that broken up after the shuffle. They only lost Kayla and um, not to me, but both of them have graduated anyway. So pretty much all of Team M are original Team M members. Like we have Anchu and Rainian, and that's almost you know there's not very many others. Captain Rainian. Captain Rainian. But no, just like in general, like Team M stayed the closest after the shuffle, and I think that helps because because the old fan base can still be there. Like oh, we liked them before, we can like them now because it doesn't feel that much different. They kept their characters, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm talking about the foreign fan base. So. Well, I was. It's the same thing, right? A lot of people were fans of Team M before the shuffle, and now it's like, oh, cool, they're the same team, pretty much. Yeah. Except with Anchu. I mean, like, I know that, like, at least among like the the Twitter people that actually watch stages, and like, yeah, like usually it's M. Um, some watch B two. Not a lot of ends. Hmm. I actually only watch B2 stages because I don't really like the reset stage. Okay, I do like if I'm sick of it, but I really like the Saka Ari stage. Yeah, I think I was watching one and then like I saw that Anshu was in it, so I just closed it. <laughs> Man, we're so... And I, and I did something for, for the rest of the day. <laughs> what? That was vague. Like, yeah, whatever. The meaning I left the house. I'm like, should I watch Team End or should I do something? Oh. <laughs> I think I'll do something with my life. <laughs> I'm so sad they stopped uploading them onto Yuku, the Chinese video service. So now I, I have don't to even know how to navigate again. Yuku. I would always watch stages on Yuku, but now I have to torrent. Uh, I keep. Yeah, I, uh, huh? Oh, sorry. I, I just keep deleting the torrent program off my computer because it takes up too much space, and I have like a crappy old computer. So I get I get sick of downloading it every time I want to watch a stage. But what are you down? What the program's like super light. Mine, mine's stupid. My computer's really bad at torrenting. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with your computer. Your computer's bad at everything. Or, or, or you don't know computers. <laughs> I don't know. If I open up your Internet Explorer and I see like 30 toolbars, I'll be really mad. I don't even use Internet Explorer. Ew, who, who uses Internet Explorer? Get in this century, Joseph. Well, they're retiring Internet Explorer anyway. They are? They're rebranding it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, um... See what's next. Um, Fukuyama Masaharu, he's like this really popular artist. Like all the ladies love him. He always finishes like first or second in the ideal husband category and polls and stuff. Ooh. In Japan, he's a singer. He's done a few um, acting gigs. Uh, I saw him in the Galileo movie, which I watched on a plane. It's pretty good. I'd recommend it. Okay. And um, what's special about Galileo's? Him? Huh? What's special about Galileo? Galileo's like it was like a, a serialized mystery novel series and then it became a tv show and then they made a movie about it oh my gosh i know what you're talking about oh my gosh because i remember looking it up um when i was in when i was in japan my mom and i would always watch like weird tv programs at night because she's too old to walk around very long and so we would like sit in the hotel and watch tv and one and one of them was like a murder mystery show and i'm like this is really cool i wonder what it's called and then later on i was trying to find it and i was looking up like murder mystery dramas in, in which, japan which is like which is like ninety percent of drama. Yeah, but somehow I found it because I because I found the actor. I recognized his picture. No way. So um, building bridges. He's an actor for Galileo. Um, I think he was like a he plays like a professor or something. No, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't want to say too many wrong things because I already have. Um, but he said that he wants to do a cover for Zetsumetsu Kurokami Shoujo. <laughs> oh man, that song! It doesn't even apply to NMB anymore. Doesn't even apply. Why would it apply to like a dude? <laughs> Well, I know, but well, no. It, but the song is from the perspective of a dude. Yeah, I guess. I mean, still. Well, what do you mean you guess? It is. You guess. Okay, ha ha. Fine. No. I know things sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> so, um, I guess we'll look forward to that. It's somewhat fluffy news. <laughs> I'll look forward to it. I think he's pretty dang cool. You don't even know him. I recognize him. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Okay. okay, um, for the B2 performance on April 9th, Nana was backstage. Yay! You know, she graduated. She can't get away from them. Yeah. Why, why was she backstage, though? Probably just a visit. Aw, she's so nice. Yeah. 
Um, you know, I didn't realize like her name or so the the name of her uh, photo book is four plus three equals seven. Oh. So her birthday is um, April third. No way. Her name, is, her name is Nana. Oh, so clever. All right. That was pretty simple. It's like um, Nachi's catchphrase from AKB. The one plus two equals N. That was that's the cutest catchphrase. Oh man! If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look up Sato Natsuki's catchphrase because it's like everybody's yeah. favorite. Just watch B two Oshi, the actual, the actual or not B two B Oshi. Yeah, Team B Oshi, the Oshi. real one. Yes. Oh man. Where they don't where they don't keep adding members and like altering the voice track so it sounds terrible. Yeah, the original one's so good. I really wish NMB would get a roll call song like that. I remember they made the music video for. for yeah, Team I liked Oshi. it. I was a lot. all excited. I was all all excited and like this. This kind of sucks. It's, it's, such, it's such a theater song. Well, I know, but it was a cute music video. And plus, like it didn't have the original members, so I'm like. Yeah, it did. No, not all of them. If they were only missing one original member, and or two, because not John. They were only missing Hirajima Natsumi and Okumama. But Okumama oh. graduated like forever ago, so. Yeah. She was like 12. No, seriously. She's, I think she's 19 now? Jeez. No. That, that doesn't make any sense. But I, I remember looking her up on stage 40. Apparently she still has a lot of fans. Like, people post in her thread all the time. Like, why? She hasn't even appeared. Ever. I don't know. I don't know. She is a, a favorite of Mariko. Yeah, that's true. Um, what other news do we have? On, the, on April 16th, which is like between one to two days from now, or probably on the day that this will be broadcast. Yeah. Apon is gonna appear again in B two stage. What the heck? Um, she's done it before. She's done Enroll, I think. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, she yeah. she did Enroll way back when at the NMB first anniversary concert. She rocked it there. So she's been. No, she didn't. Yeah, she did. No, that was Sayaka. Milky, Apon, and Nana. And it was not Milky, for first anniversary. Oh yeah, no, it was, but it was Apon and Nana. No, no. Yeah. It was, uh, Sayaka, Sayaka, Nana. Um, Haru. And Apon. And Richan. What? When did it, when did it, okay, I saw Apon do it once, though. Yeah. Maybe she did some, somewhere else, but I know for first anniversary. It was those four. Anyway, she'll be in B2, um, B2's also borrowing more members. They're borrowing Joe from Team N, they're borrowing Rachel from, uh, Team M, and Ayatin from Team M, so... Come on, B2, step it up. I don't know what's... Well, who are they missing? Like, Umechan's out. We know that. Milky's never there. Umechan's out. Milky's out. Emichi's out. I don't know. Who else is out? Maybe Shoes. Maybe... I don't know. Nagisa, maybe? Maybe. Whatever. Anyway. So Apon will be participating. It'll, it'll be pretty interesting. I want Apon to participate in an end stage one day. An M. Then she'll do all the stages. Oh man! But she'll never be as good as Arisa, who's done all the positions. Yeah, but. Uh, She's crazy. Well, I mean, like the, a lot of the Kenkyuu have already performed in a lot of stages. I think it's cool for a full member to be able to do all the stages. Yeah. Plus, I'd like to see her in Team N for whatever reason. I just think it'd be cool. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, on Twitter there was an account that looked like Chuba. It was not Chuba, so. I apologize to anybody that I told might have thought yeah, it was That was kind of sketch. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Whenever people are like, it's really me, I'm just like, hmm. Hmm. I, I, don't, I, I wouldn't count it anything as confirmed until an active member has, like, mentioned it. Like if, like if, um, like if Anshu was to be like, oh, Shuba started a Twitter, then I'd be like, okay, it's legit. Yeah. Anshu's well, like I mean, we've been, we've, we've been faked out before. That's true. Uh, or, uh, like, Rena Pion would follow fake people. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Rena Pion. She got super pretty. I don't, like, all of a sudden. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh, man. She was always pretty. I always thought she was really pretty. But now I'm just like, whoa, girl. I thought she used to be, like, super caked in makeup and just trying too hard to look like Mayu. <laughs> Mayu Yu. Mayu Yu. Not, oh, not, not Oga, Oga Sawara Mayu. I think she does look a lot like Mayu, though. Like what the way she, the, yeah. she was trying to and she, she was yeah trying. I thought she was try like she was trying like I was like okay that's like obviously a Mayu clone that's all that's all I knew her for oh now I think she kind of has her own personality and thing going on so I also like it when she has her hair down yeah she's really pretty plus she cut her hair too so you know oh, okay. good stuff oh revisions to what I said um Apon was in enrolled for the Chapu Chapu tour. I just found that. Yeah. 
In case you're okay. wondering. I really like the Chapu Chapu tour. There was only like one recording. I don't, I don't remember watching it. No, it's on DVD. But on Blu-ray. But only like one of them, right? Only one of them was ever oh. uploaded. Because I, I really liked it because um, Yui Pond was centering the Itoshi Natasha song. Natasha. Mm. And it was for like a big crowd and they were all super hyped for her. And I was super hyped for her. Good times. Okay. Well, let me, I'll, I'll go over my DVDs after this. Okay, uh, that's it for fluff news. As far as sub stuff, um, I subtitle or subtitle. I translated a Konomine article. Yay! Um, I thought it was actually pretty good. I didn't think. I just it was funny because I saw Timmy on like translating all this Fuchan stuff. I'm like, yo, dude, my rival showed up. <laughs> I'm a... And then I was like, yo, dude. I was like, I went out, like I, I talked to Lula. I'm like, yo, dude, give me that Konomine article. <laughs> oh man, Konomine. She's, she's like, oh, it's two to three pages. I'm like, I don't care. Give me that article, I'll translate it. It took me like two hours in the morning, I was like, oops. Oops. This took a lot longer than I thought. Konomi! That's translated, that's on the, um, the Tumblr. Um, there's some other small translations. For example, there was an excerpt of Ruripon's blog when she was talking about how she had to lift Sayaka for her NMB show. And when she only weighs like 90 pounds? 94? I don't remember. Is that what we were talking no, about? No, she she had to she had to lift Saika and then like for for the todo todoko uh, todokanai mono or whatever todokasenai mono to, yeah whatever. the long name. and there's this part where they go todoke like todoku todoku and then um like so, somebody's like raised and Ruby Pon wanted to ra- like had to like lift Saika but it looked really ugly or she'd just bury her face in like Saika's chest <laughs> because like she she can't like really lift her yeah. And Steph was like, I don't know if you could do it. And she's like, no, nah, dude, I can do oh, it. Oh, no. And then she did it. Yeah, okay. Oh, that, that's no. it. Um, uh, is there anything coming out? I'm um, still working on my Nabukun. Uh, that should come out fairly shortly. <sighs> okay, um, I wanted to bring back the Kini Nadu section. <gasps> really? Yeah, but instead of being like, oh, we're going to profile one member, instead we just talk about like any member that like caught our eye for the week. Ooh. So pretty much we're stealing Basugatsu Bakuhatsu's Oshihana. Yuhos! I love that segment, but we're not calling it that. Yeah, we're calling it Kini We're totally not plagiarizing. <laughs> well, I mean, like, because they have their own style, so... Yeah, they're funny. Um, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> you're not. Oh, it's true. It's true. It's true, though. <laughs> Like everybody tells so, me, like I'm not funny, and I know so it. So this is the key. No, you're all right. Um, this is the Kiri Nado section. So we'll talk about our any any mem- like members that like caught our eye for the week, or you know maybe it's something we watched, um, something funny happened in theater, whatever it is. We'll talk about it here. So who's your member of the oh, week? You're kind of springing this on me. I did not know we were bringing this back. Well, I put it on the outline. I did. I was not home. I've been out since six, and I've I been, just got I've home. Put it's on the 10, outline it's yesterday. 11. I haven't even looked at it. I'm so sorry. Um. Okay. Oh, yes. No. For real. I, I, no. I can. I can go first. Okay. But if you need time to think. But no, I already have mine. But you. But okay. it's the same as yours, which is a problem. So I'll keep thinking. Uh, go on. It doesn't matter. Go on. It doesn't matter. If it's the same, that's how it is. Okay. <laughs> this is not like a restaurant where you're like, oh, well, you ordered the lobster. Okay. Well, I will not order. The My lobster dad does that so annoying. It. He's like, I'll just order the opposite of what you order, but he doesn't even want it. And then we're like, great. Now we have this food nobody wants. <sighs> one time we were at... I only do it if we're sharing, because I'll be like... Yeah, hey, sharing's like... different, though. But one time we were at a Mexican restaurant, and he's like... He, he turns to the waitress, he's like, Can I order just enchilada sauce? And he, he just brought him a bowl of enchilada sauce. Like, what are you doing? He's like, I'll just eat the chips with it, because you already got the platter that I wanted. So now I can't order anything. I'm like, what is wrong with you? That's my dad. Anyway... Um, Do you like enchilada so if you're, sauce? If yours are if yours are my, if your favorite members of the week are my favorite members of the week, that's okay. Okay. All right. Did you even watch this? No, but it's not for the same reason. But it's the same member. Oh, okay. It's all good. See that? See that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's right? all good. It's all good. So my mine, I watched the uh, Mocha special from YNN. Actually, I caught up because I didn't watch the third episode until like I watched the fourth episode. So mine are Joe and Fuchan. I feel like they carry that special. Um, I don't know when you like when I watch Joe, it's so fun. Like, it, like she's always smiling, and you're like, oh, you know, we're gonna have a good time. So I'm like, okay, Joe's Joe's really cool. And then like Fuchan, like whenever she's bored, she goes kind of she gets kind of crazy. Yeah. And so, um, for the fourth episode, what they did is um, like Irie's um thing was that she wanted to practice juggling and 
unicycling. So they go to this entertainer's house who has like all this random stuff, like you know, circus kind of stuff. So juggling different things, the Chinese yo-yo. Um, what else is there? There's various like circus tricks. And so they're all practicing, and like Fuchan's like being stupid. <laughs> Uh, like, uh, they're, like, looking around, and she's like, yo, you got a hula hoop? What? Oh, and then she couldn't hula hoop. He's like, yo, you got a hula hoop? I'm really good at hula hoop. No, she can hula hoop. It just looks really terrible. It's like, yo, you got a hula hoop? And she's like, oh, yeah, we got a hula hoop right there. She's like, yo, dude, I'm good at this hula hoop. And she starts using it, and it's just like, uh, that looks weird. <laughs> and, and, like, people are like, yo, dude, you're an idol. I don't know if you should be, like, hula hooping like that. I, she, I, she's great. I love her. And then, like, when I was watching, I'm like, yeah, man, if, if Joe stayed with Team M and they had that Joe Fuchan chemistry since from so long, oh, dude, it'd been That'd so be good. good. It'd been so good. Oh, I mean, Joe has her own chemistry with all the fortunes now. Yeah. It's, or, uh, not the fortunes, but but the Kenkyusei from, I guess, Sozo no Shijin era. Yeah. As in, like, a few months ago. Yeah. Fuchan doesn't really have that much chemistry with a lot of members. Uh, it was it was always Fu Kayla and then Kayla graduated, so now it's just Fu. Aww. I mean she's close with some members, but not really. Um there was this joke uh I, that I woke up to this one. I was on Matome sites so people were like, here's a list of members that Fuchan I... got close to in her two years of Kenning. Oh. And and then it was just a picture of Izu. <laughs> that was the only it's person. It's like Izurina, like, Izo this and I was like <laughs> oh man! It's like, all right, good job, Fuchan. I feel so bad but, for her. Uh, like that Kenyan position did nothing. Well, I don't know. I feel like she's just really shy in general. But hmm. Maybe I just made that up. Maybe. So my 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 Kirinaru members of the week are Joe and Fuchan. Joe and Fuchan. Well, mine is just Fuchan. Sorry, Joe. Oh, oh shots fired. Okay, you'll, get, you'll get a handshake ticket. You'll be like, man, everything's so nice and happy. You changed my world. The, the mood is so good. Well, I can't wait. But no, my, my favorite is... Just like when you talk to me, you're just like... Oh, well, it's kind of different. I laugh every 30 seconds. Yeah. Well, that, that's me with Joe. It's like the real Joe, not you, Joe. But, um... um, um no, my Kenya no remember is Fuchan. I also have a Fuchan ticket, so, ha. Huh. Um, I like her because of all the translations to Neon did. Um, my favorite was, um... She dances the entire reset stage naked in hotel rooms. I just thought yeah. that was pretty funny. I don't I don't believe that. That's two hours. Yeah, I know, but she probably does like some moves. I think that's funny. And she's probably not totally naked because then it's like well, I won't I won't talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, because then boobs are floppy. Right? Around. And it's super uncomfortable. But um I'm not that fat, so I, I don't I don't understand. <laughs> um but yeah. So I don't know. I like I can't remember all the translations, but I remember reading through them and being like, "Man, Fuchan's great. Fuchan's great." Well, you, well, you can find them right now, right? Well, yeah. And then I was seeing the pictures of the the hula hooping thing. That was also great. I don't know. I've I've really started to like her lately. Like a more than like I I think the more Miru gets pushed, the more I like Fuchan. Like I wanna I wanna like stand up for her. Be like, here she is, kind of thing, you know. Yeah, they keep trying to push this Mirufu thing. Like, I'm not buying it. Not at all. Like, you don't think they're a good combination? They're not a good... I mean, they don't even, like, really hang out together. I guess not. But they were... It's, I think it's probably because like, of the double center. That... Yeah, I know. But, like, I, I don't feel like the chemistry between them. Like, uh, you can also argue that Saika doesn't hang out with Milky. Yeah, but often, except they're in love. They, they... Shut up. They have, like... They, but they have, like, a certain working chemistry where you're just, like... like they they kind of they they work really well together. Yeah. Like when you when you put them together on the TV show, funny things happen. I mean, they might not be best of friends, but you know whatever. Um, some people are really good friends. Um, what's a combination that that works recently? Oh, Nagishu. Yeah, Nagishu or, I mean, if you want to talk, if you still want to talk about Miru, there's a Miru Naru. Yeah. You know that that, that works. Um, oh, and there's also, what is it, uh, what is it called, it, whatever, the Kawakami Jonishi thing, Jo, uh, Kawa Jonishi, oh, I don't, whatever, whatever they, anyway. call they posted a picture together just like yesterday, yeah, and like Keiichi and Ren appeal and like get, they get along really well together, um, so, like that I can feel, like the Mirufu, like, uh, they're just kind of, nah, no, nah, it's just like, it's just forced. I feel like they're probably actually competitive with each other. 
like subtly like passive aggressive especially because Fuchon is like she said I think I'm passive but but then like like in like in the interview that tenor, that Timion was translating Fuchon's like I think I'm negative and passive but then her next thing was like but I hate losing so I'm like ooh passive aggressiveness go Fu <laughs> So, yeah, but this, it was just a cool interview. Like, she was talking about, like, her childhood, too, because people always ask idols about what they were like as children for some reason. And she's like, oh, I was, like, the egocentric princess type. I'm like, oh, man, I like you. She's just straight up about it. Oh, that's weird. No. I think it's, I think she's funny. She's like, I always played the main role in school plays. Oh, man. Oh, man. She's great. Yeah, I'm a, um, yeah, um... I, I agree. Well, I, I've also been paying a lot of attention to food. Like, when she's um, active or when she tries to be funny, like, I really like her. Yeah. Then, like, when they push her into, like, being an idol, I'm just kind of bored. Oh, yeah, I remember you saying, talking about that on your blog, like, how she's a lot funnier when she's just being natural and not trying to be idolish. Well, I mean, being idolish is not very funny well, yeah, to, but for I anybody. Mean... Well, like no, I'm say, I said, I think I said I liked her more when she tries to be funny. Mm -hmm. it, might, it might have been on stage or something. Like I like her funny side more than I like her trying to act cute. Yeah. But then again, that's true for like almost everybody. Because I don't really like the whole acting cute. <laughs> well, I, well, I mean, I've never seen Aika try to be funny. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aika, she's such a she's so precious. Um. I was trying to think of the other one. There's a Yuri, but Yuri. She she's she's pretty funny. She's she's she exploded this week with all the gravure. Yeah, she exploded so much that all her clothes came off. Wow, wow, good joke. And like the the one they posted today, which I think was like uh, was it Ex Taishi or something? Yeah. Like everyone was posting, it. it's like, oh my god, dude! Like, look at Yuri doing more gravure, and uh, look at her boobs and stuff. And I'm just like, I'm looking at him, like, dude, her face looks really weird in that. <laughs> I didn't look at them yet. Yeah. Well, it's okay. Just ask Milan. Oh my gosh, do idols wear push-up bras? I'm like, um, yes. No, if there's ever a gravure post on Twitter, like Milan will show up. <laughs> oh Milan, it's, it's 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 great. It's, it's, it's almost like, it's, it's his thing now. It's funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. So, uh, apparently it's the only thing I like Milan for. Wow, you guys are like, not even subtle about your hatred. I don't hate the guy. Or, I mean, you're just... Like, I'll, like... I'll, play, I'll play, like, League with him and fun stuff happens. I mean, just because I disagree with the, the way he forms his arguments, it doesn't mean I don't like him. Okay, fair, fair. Fair, fair. Why are fireworks again? Fireworks. What the hell is yeah, going yesterday on there here? were fireworks. It was super cool. I was at Joe's house yesterday, and then we were driving, and there was like huge fireworks that just went off right in front of us. It's like magic, but it wasn't. It was just people setting off fireworks. Yeah, but there's not. It's April fourteenth, thirteenth. It's a day to be celebrated. Because sure. Um, because Saipi just had her birthday stage. They were saying happy birthday, Saipi. Have this big green and yellow firework. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, so those are our members, our favorite members of the week. Um, I was gonna say check them out, but then like we always say that, like, oh, check it check out. Check it out. I don't think anybody checks anything. Everybody out. should check everything out. Yeah. Yeah, check me out. Uh, mm, no. Um, no, but like we always say, oh, check it out. But like I don't think anybody checks anything out, and I think that's why we're here so that they don't have to check it out. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, that's interesting. I'll keep that in mind when I watch what I usually watch, or something like that. So, bringing back Kini Naru. Yay. Um, then we have, like, another corner that we were going to try. And you mean really Speculation Station? No. <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> it's so good, though. Everybody wants Speculation Station. I like the one where I'd say, like, <laughs> where I'd say a member and you have to compare them to, like, a food. Let's play that right now. Let's do it with... No, oh. no, this is already long enough as Ooh. it is. We're, we're hitting the 45 minute mark. I want to close this thing out. Fine, let's play it next time. I got work tomorrow. So do I. It sucks to suck. Yeah. Yeah. Don't distract me this time. I was like, oh, I need to go to bed. Oh, I want to stay on your couch. Like, get out of my house already. <laughs> it was late. Good times. 
No, bad times. Good times. He's a very comfy couch, guys. If you're at Joe's house, sit on his couch. You won't want to get up. Yeah. Okay, anyway, <laughs> that'll end the show. Uh, Takoyaki Party episode number 22. Do you have any final words, comments? Um, So I was originally a bio major because I wanted to be a doctor. <laughs> but I was like, I hate chemistry. I never want to do chemistry. And I don't really want to be a doctor because I don't like sick people. So I switched to engineering. And now I have to take an environmental engineering class because I need to graduate. And it's all chemistry. So I'm just hating life right now because I hate chemistry. And wish me luck. Okay. <laughs> That's my uh, close out. <laughs> Um, Do you know what trinitrotoline is? It's actually TNT. That's what I thought. Did you really? I thought it was tetra something. It's tri, apparently. Trinitrotoline. Okay. Okay, Toluene. Well, I mean, I don't think anybody really cared about what she just said. But in case they were curious about the life of the soy milk. I just wanted to close things out, you know, like, oh, you know, shout outs to... Oh, I mean, you know, shout outs to... To, My like, home. Bus guts, bus yeah. Because there, there are boys. And for the inspiration for a new section. Also, I want to have a rap battle. Yo, yo. Ch -ch -ch Check it. All right. Um, yo, yo. What is it? Dave Chang called me annoying. <laughs> Again? What's new? <laughs> did he really? He did that one thing on Twitter where it's like anonymous uh, comment. Oh man! Like, I'll just, I'll, I'm like, I'll just favorite it because it feels like you want to do some of these. He's funny. Like, I don't really care what you have to say about me. How did you figure out it was you then if it was anonymous? Because no, <laughs> it says you, I know you're really annoying. <laughs> That's all it says. You're annoying. And I'm like, okay, it's very clearly me. <laughs> Oh man, Dave Chang's the best. Dave Chang changed my life. Yeah. So, okay, story time. Again. So, one- We're supposed to close no, things out, come on, let's okay, just- Okay, fine. But this is a good story. Because Dave Chang changed my life. So Dave Chang is the podcaster for NSK. If you don't know who he is, he does idol podcast. And he's like, hey Emily, uh, you live in this city, and I'm in this city. Do you want to go have food? And I'm like, oh sure, you're, you're in my area. So we went to have food, and we were at Mitsuwa. And in Mitsuwa, they had one box of Chutora left from, like, earlier in the day. It was, like, discounted, like, one dollar off. Please help us get rid of it. And we're like, let's do it. So we pooled our money, and we bought Chutora, and we ate it, and it changed my world, and now I never want to have low-quality sushi again. And that's my story. Goodbye. From Takoyaki Party. Alright, goodbye. This is, uh, Osaka Joe. This is DJ Soy Milk. See you guys later. Bye-bye.